I'm a football fan. I wouldn't say a crazy mad football fan, but I'm a Liverpool fan, and you've caused me plenty of pain in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, thank you for all you've done for the sport and, um, you know, all the rivalries you've created yeah. and that. I must admit, I was completely shocked when you left Arsenal. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. So can we talk about that? Why you yeah, 100%. Um, addiction. Really? 100%. I got offered a four-year contract at Arsenal. I mean, people forget the, the year... The year, the year before I left, at the end, that season was probably my best. I was going to say you were it was at probably peak. my season. I mean, yeah. I was playing every game under Arsenal. Yeah. You know, I played my best football. Uh, I had a hernia, and literally the day I was fit to play, I played again. You know, so I got offered a four-year contract. I was offered five hundred and eighty grand a year at Arsenal, which was what's that twelve. I think it's about 12 a grand. Lot, sounds like a lot of money Nearly for back 12 then. 12 grand a week. Yeah. And Middlesbrough offered me £20,000 a week to play in the championship in 1997. Shit. And I couldn't get my head round the difference that is. It's, a, it's, a, it's like eight, eight grand a week difference. So eight, six, is, that's 32 grand a month. And I, as, a, as a gambler and with addictions, I just... As I said before, I can't rationale everything out. You know what I mean? I just and I, I just uh, had to go. Did could Arsenal not match that? Was there not a? What? There wasn't even Dennis Burkamp that. Right. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was extraordinary, yeah. extraordinary amount of money for the championship. I mean, yeah, extraordinary. Yeah. But it it wasn't the money. It was it was the ga- it was the gambling. Do you regret leaving Arsenal? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I, I, when I got up there, I loved it up there, like with the people, the people I met, the fans. Yeah, I, I, I loved it in the end. I, I went to the World Cup. Who, who knows, you know, a lot of players come in at Arsenal. Uh, maybe they might not have if I'd have stayed, but, you know, good players come in who was, who, you know, people like Perez, who for me, I think he's better than me. So I don't, I don't question that. Yeah. I also want to talk about your football. Thank you for sharing openly about this. Yeah, no way. I think that's important. I think, as I say, if someone's listening, they might go, you know what, that that hits home to me and they might go and get Mm. help. So if there is something that you would say about someone who's struggling with drink, drugs or gambling, what would it be? You're an ill person who needs to get well. You're not a bad person who's trying to get good every other day. And that's the thing that when you're drinking, gambling, taking drugs, you you beat yourself up so badly, your self-esteem goes, you hate yourself with a passion, and you come off the drink, the drugs or the gambling, and you have all them feelings and the hatred you have for yourself, and you don't want to feel like that. So what do you do? I know, I'd have a drink a bit or a drug to take me out the way I feel. And it's right. just a merry-go-round, it's just like vicious. And it's, it's understanding that you're not a bad person trying to get, well, uh, trying to get good, you are an ill person who needs to get well. If you went to the doctors tomorrow and the doctor said you've got a nut allergy, you're not going to go out and buy a packet of nuts, are you? And that's the way I look at it now. Mm. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. I don't know if you know, but I have more YouTube channels, including shorts channels, so make sure you subscribe below. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.